My beloved child. Michael the Archangel. I have a critical message for you today, the aspect of you that is always in communication with me, your spirit, has been attempting to warn you about a person in your life. Although you may be surprised by what you are about to learn, there are 30 minutes remaining. The skies are stirring urgently as you read these words because your spirit wants to tell you something shocking about this person you know. I can promise you that this information is intended to strengthen, protect, and lead you. Have faith that this realization will bring you closer to my truth and purpose for your life rather than causing you to become afraid or confused. You have a strong bond with me that is found in your spirit. Your spirit is pleading with you to reveal something startling about a familiar face. This person may be someone you've grown away from, someone you see frequently, someone you trust, or someone dear to you. I bring knowledge, wisdom, and whispered truths through your spirit. Your spirit frequently perceives things before your intellect or emotions have a chance to interpret them. This is the reason you could feel uncomfortable, agitated, or even attracted to someone without really knowing why. Under the direction of our Lord Jesus Christ, Archangel Michael is waiting, prepared to guard and lead you through the impending revelation. I have given you this talent for a purpose, to keep you in line with my will, to protect you, and to guide you in relationships. What your spirit is attempting to tell you about this individual is not meant to cause you pain or injury, but rather to shed light on a matter that needs your consideration, Michael doesn't show up for unimportant reasons. Time is of the essence. What you discover today has the power to affect your future, protect your fate, and open your eyes to a deeper spiritual level, his presence in your life indicates that a serious spiritual issue is approaching, the startling reality about this someone you know is something that God himself has deemed important enough to send his angelic warrior to deliver this warning. For reasons you may not yet fully understand, the individual in issue is important in your life. You could be surprised to learn the truth about them because there are layers beneath the surface. This might provide insight into their motivations, challenges, or place in your life. This warning is not just about human connections, it's also about the spiritual impact this person is having on your life, your mission, and your relationship with God. Sometimes, whether on purpose or accidentally, individuals put on masks. It's possible that your soul is noticing differences between their claims and their actual selves, between their words and deeds. I implore you to pray for wisdom and discernment, maybe it's a feeling you've dismissed, a pattern of conduct you've rationalized, or an unease you've disregarded. The revelation coming your way is shocking not because it's unexpected, but because it confirms what you've been feeling all along. The time has come to face those instincts and pursue the truth of God. I'll make it apparent to you that the Spirit himself testifies with our spirit, Romans 8 verse 16. But transition isn't always a comfortable process. This someone may have been pushing you outside of your comfort zone, trying your patience, or questioning your beliefs. This person might be having difficulties with something they haven't disclosed. God sent them to change your life. God occasionally places people in our lives to test us, encourage us, and deepen our relationship with Him. They can be feeling lost, struggling with inner demons, or carrying burdens. The startling fact is that your soul already knows the answer and has detected something about this person deep within you. Your soul may be urging you to offer sympathy, intercession, or encouragement. Sometimes their suffering, rather than a defect, is the startling reality, Ephesian, and it may be done to protect you, to instruct you, or to get you ready for a decision or confrontation that will have far-reaching effects. I put certain people in your life to test you, help you improve, 
or encourage you to advance. The presence of Archangel Michael may indicate that this individual is essential to your spiritual development. You might have been sent to learn strength, humility, or patience from this individual. I promise that I am working everything out for your benefit, even if their actions may be painful to endure, Romans 8 verse 28. The startling reality is that they may have had a more negative impact on your life than you initially thought, there are only 30 minutes left before the revelation, so it's imperative that you connect yourself with God and allow your heart to be open to receiving His counsel. You don't have to keep everyone in your life. However, in order to completely accept what God is doing, you also need to be prepared to see this individual from his perspective rather than your own. Someone the enemy uses to ruin your life holding onto a relationship for too long can impede the work I'm attempting to perform in you since some relationships are seasonal. It could be time to let go and trust me to lead you to healthier connections if your spirit is warning you about a toxic or unhealthy relationship. The following actions will help you get ready. 1. Offer up prayers for clarity. Ask God to remove any blinders from your eyes and reveal the truth about this person. I urge that you handle this matter with wisdom, compassion, and faith in me as you start to understand what your spirit is attempting to tell you. The following actions will help you, tell me everything I need to know about this individual. Assist me in seeing them from your perspective and comprehending their significance in my life. Please pray for me on this issue. Seek wisdom, peace, and clarity. Those closest to us can occasionally be foolish, and the enemy is a liar. Unintentional participants in his plans. You should ask God, who graciously gives to everyone without pointing fingers, if you lack insight. But don't worry, the truth makes you free, John 8 verse 32, and God's protection is always stronger than any enemy attack. It will be given to you, James 1 verse 5. I am here to guide you. As I get ready for this realization, keep my heart and mind safe. Be mindful of the reminders, sensations, and impressions that your spirit sends your way. I communicate with you in a variety of ways, including through my word, other people, and the silent voice within of you. Have faith that I am guiding you, for instance, I come before you in search of truth and clarity, Heavenly Father. Amen, in the name of Jesus. 2. Think about how this individual affects your life for a while. Do they support you or undermine you? Do they support the goal I have for you? It's acceptable to end relationships that don't fit with my purpose for you because not all connections are designed to continue forever. Archangel Michael is here to provide you with the spiritual armor you need to face any poisonous energy, manipulation, or spiritual obstruction that has hampered your relationship with God and postponed the fulfillment of His promises, have there been times when you felt uneasy, unsure, or spiritually disturbed? Whatever you learn, treat this individual with humility, love, and grace. Show empathy if they are having difficulties. If they are lying, politely and honestly confront them with the truth. If they have to go from your life, let them go in peace and forgiveness. Take a minute to consider your contacts with this individual and consider the warnings from your spirit. Consult the Bible for direction and seek God's word. Or have there been times of great inspiration, faith, and growth? Observe the feelings and ideas that come to mind when you consider them. I have to tell you, beloved, Facing the truth can be challenging. It could put your presumptions to the test, erode your confidence, or make you make difficult choices. But know that I'm here for you at every turn. I have fantastic things planned for you, and I won't let anything or anyone stop me from achieving my goals for your life. 
To find out how this person fits into your life and how they are affecting your spiritual development, pray especially for discernment. Have faith that I am working for your benefit, even if this realization causes you to feel hurt or disappointed. You might be able to welcome the gifts I have planned for you because of what feels like loss at the time. If this person is a blessing in your life, you could feel compelled to deepen your bond with them, extend forgiveness for previous transgressions, or accept their part in your life more completely. My story for your life is a bigger story that includes the truth about this individual. My divine plan is weaved throughout every relationship, interaction, and revelation. Have faith that everything has a purpose and nothing is wasted, the truth of God is always for your good. The revelation is intended to help you gain a better understanding of God's will, regardless of whether this individual is a blessing or a challenge. Keep your eyes on me as you make your way through this. Although this may cause suffering, keep in mind that bigger advantages always result from obeying God. Allow my peace to preserve your heart, my spirit to guide you, and my word to serve as your anchor. I am your haven, your mentor, and your ever-present friend. When the stunning truth is exposed, you may feel surprised, upset, or even relieved. What to expect is that the truth will set you free. I'm with you, supporting and helping you. If you discover that this individual presents a challenge, you may decide to set limits, cut off contact, or even terminate the connection. My love for you is timeless and unwavering. My love, nothing can keep you apart when the truth is exposed. You might have to make tough choices, but he will help light the way forward and make sure you see this issue clearly through the prism of God's will, enabling you to act. I am your bulwark and protector. Have faith that I will protect your future and your heart. This insight is a component of my strategy to safeguard, develop, and get you ready for bigger things. Since angels are God's workers and messengers, we might ask them to help us when we pray to him alone. Don't be afraid of the truth, my child. It is the truth that frees you, therefore accept it as a gift from me, John 8 verse 32. Have faith in yourself, have faith in me, and have faith that I am working everything out for your benefit. God frequently shapes us via other people, and this individual may be a tool in his toolbox to aid in your development. Have faith that his intentions are for your benefit and that he has your best interests in mind. With the knowledge that I am with you, directing your steps, and holding you in my hands, go in faith. Your spirit's revelation is not the conclusion, rather, it marks the start of a more profound comprehension, a more robust faith, and a closer connection with my plan for your life. He acts as a barrier between you and any threats. As you proceed through this revelation, ask God to keep you safe and lead you to the truth. Michael is a truth bearer. Your spirit, which is closely related to me, is attempting to communicate a significant truth about a person in your life, which is why I am speaking to you now. Archangel Michael's presence indicates that this is a spiritual issue as well as a physical one. Michael is here to keep you safe from harm, whether it be physical, spiritual, or emotional. You may be shocked or even surprised by what you are about to learn, but know that I am sharing it with you in order to protect you, guide you, and help you fulfill my plan for your life. Michael is here to give you the courage and strength to act in alignment with God's plan. The aspect of you that communicates with me directly is your spirit. The individual in question might not be who they appear to be, or their presence in your life might have more meaning than you think. The insight may pertain to their goals, challenges, or even their intended function in your path. I'm giving you a signal when your spirit is awake or apprehensive. 
Because these divine nudges are based on my wisdom and love, pay attentive attention to them, whatever it is, I promise you that this truth is revealed for your benefit. It hears what human ears cannot hear and feels what the human eye cannot see. It's possible that your spirit is detecting deceit, manipulation, or ulterior intentions. I'm telling you this to give you insight, not to frighten you. This person can be experiencing severe mental, spiritual, or emotional difficulties. Perhaps your spirit is urging you to be a conduit of my love in their lives by praying and showing compassion. In conclusion, have faith in God's protection and timing, and keep in mind that God is with you while the last seconds pass. Some individuals are put in your life to test you, help you grow, or draw you nearer to me. Perhaps you're realizing how this relationship is influencing you, even in ways that aren't comfortable that he loves you and wants the best for you, which is why he sent you this message. Sometimes someone might impede your development or divert your attention from the mission I have for you. Do not be afraid, he will lead you every step of the way and is working things out for your good, although the disclosure may come as a shock, it is not outside of his plan or power. Whatever happens next, have faith that God is in charge your spirit might be urging you to reevaluate their presence in your life. Bring your inquiries to me. I'll provide you knowledge and insight. Archangel Michael is there to protect you and make sure you are prepared to deal with the awful truth about this individual. You should ask God, who generously gives to all, if any of you lack wisdom, James 1 verse 5. Don't ignore the impressions and emotions I'm putting in your heart. They are how I am trying to lead you. Have faith in the Lord. Approach this realization with love, regardless of whether it necessitates compassion, conflict, or boundaries. Allow my spirit to guide you in compassion and truth. Be receptive to his honesty. This moment is divine. Don't overlook what God has planned for your life. Type 1111 if you believe.